So we've just come back from IAA Mobility in Munich and after seeing some interesting new technology, some crazy stuff as well, there are a few things I think here that could revolutionize your future EV. And if you like, most EV owners out there can agree that we have the same sort of complaints with our cars. Think car range, charging speed, resale value. Maybe you have some safety concerns having watched those full self-driving fail compilations here on YouTube. I'd also throw in that a lot of EVs look terrible, but I went to go and see just what the future holds at this trade show. And to be honest, I've come away excited about that next wave of electric vehicles, probably more so than I was before heading out to Germany. The reason? Well, I think it's all about that battery technology, the all important battery technology. I get it. It's a dry subject, but it's the core component of any electric vehicle. Do you think you could name a single battery manufacturer though? Well, hopefully that's going to change here in this video. Let me introduce you to CATL. This is the company and the brains behind one of the most important components in your electric car. And they unveiled a few things at IAA Mobility that I think might secretly be some of the best things to come out of this trade show. Let me start with a question though. What's the average range of an EV today? Maybe 250 miles or so with a long range vehicle? Well, that could change very soon thanks to CATL who have just unveiled their next generation battery tech, which is likely gonna be key in your next car. They're unveiling two new battery technologies called Shenzhen Pro Super Long Life and Long Range and the Shenzhen Pro Super Fast Charging Batteries. As the name suggests, the Super Long Life and Long Range battery offers you up to 758 kilometers of WLTP range and the Long Life part produces an astounding 12 year, 1 million kilometer lifespan. Over 700 kilometers on a single charge is actually like going from Houston to Memphis on that one full charge. Most modern EVs will lose up to 30% capacity after 200,000 kilometers, but the Shenzhen Pro Long Life and Long Range models are way lower at just 9% degradation after that same mileage milestone. So you can see why this could be an industry game changer. I know what you're thinking, range almost always drops due to colder situations. However, CATL's Shenzhen Pro Super Fast Charging Tech doesn't diminish things as drastically as other solutions. Firstly, it has peak 12C charging, so instead of losing almost half your range, it can add up to 410 kilometers WLTP range in just 20 minutes, even at minus 20 degrees Celsius temperature. That's still better than most EV max ranges right now, and that actually slapped my own Polestar 2 range by almost 100 kilometers, even in optimum conditions. One of the key safety concerns is heat with batteries. Yes, they produce heat, but managing that should be something that is also important. And CATL thought about this with this new technology because the company is calling this no propagation 3.0 tech. There's a lot to unpack with this. Of course, let's get into it a little bit because God forbid you have an issue with your car's battery, especially as the fail safe itself on those just shuts off the car and locks them up no matter where you are. That means you can be stranded in the road or a highway, not a safe place to be. CATL's no propagation 3.0 technology though is a new battery tech that makes electric vehicle batteries much safer and more reliable because it improves on every part of the battery from the chemicals inside to the whole way the system is designed. In the rare event of a thermal runway when a single battery cell actually overheats, MP3.0's design prevents a major incident thanks to some impressive tech here. So unlike a conventional design where the temperature and pressure of neighboring cells increases quickly and starts swelling, MP3.0 tech rapidly reduces temperature and pressure of neighboring cells, which not only prevents heat issues, but keeps them stable and reduces battery swelling. There's also an aerogel thermal barrier, which gives each cell a super shield to prevent further thermal propagation, while a fireproof coating expands when heated to provide insulation and thermal runway impact resistance, which therefore protects the cell case. Batteries with the no propagation 3.0 technology can maintain stable high voltage supply for over an hour after thermal runway, which provides crucial safety margins for you. This gives you, the driver, ample time to react to get into a safety lane or the side of the road where you can get recovered by recovery services. Even under these extreme conditions, the battery can continue providing power for up to an hour, which is insane. So if you can't find a safe place, it gives you that extended functionality to find somewhere, drive down the road and get over to a safe 
area. For cars with advanced driver assistance like L3 and L4 self-driving, this reliable and continuous power supply I think is essential for keeping all of those safety and navigation systems running in the event of a failure. And ultimately, no propagation 3.0 tech makes electric vehicles safer and more dependable, something that a lot of people have concerns about in the wider space. It's also great to see that even with these brand new technologies, CATL is collaborating with the Ellen MacArthur Foundation to launch GECC or the Global Energy Circular Commitment. The aim with this is to hit 50% reduction in usage of primary raw materials in batteries over the next 20 years and they're putting their effort right in where it matters most as the largest battery recycler network in the world and they have been since 2024. They've recycled up to 130,000 tonnes of used or spent batteries at a 99.6% recovery rate of nickel cobalt and manganese which is something I think we can all applaud. It's not only important, it's one of the major ways CATL can do all of these things at the scale they're doing them. So in essence, there is a real possibility that the next wave of European EVs could be very, very tough to beat, all thanks to CATL and this brand new technology. I think that sort of proves that approaching battery tech from multiple angles like range, safety and sustainability really will make all the difference to the industry.